Welcome to Battles and Beyond in today's day in World War II. On September 2, 1939, in response to Germany's invasion of Poland, the French army began its general mobilization. This marked the commencement of France's military preparations to support its ally, Poland, and confront the looming threat posed by Nazi Germany. This mobilization was a significant step, signaling France's readiness to engage in what would become a devastating six-year conflict. The strategic destroyers for bases agreements was finalized on September 2, 1940. This accord saw Britain receiving 50 naval destroyers from the United States. In exchange, the U.S. was granted land in various British territories. This land was to be used for establishing us naval and air bases, with a 99-year rent-free lease in locations such as the Bahamas, Antigua, St. Lucia, Trinidad, Jamaica, and British Guiana. The agreement significantly bolstered British naval power, crucial for the ongoing battle of the Atlantic, while also expanding the U.S. military presence in the Western Hemisphere. September 2, 1944 marked a significant step forward in the Allied push towards victory. On this day, Allied troops set foot on Belgian soil, liberating the nation from years of German occupation. The speed and coordination of the Allies, combined with the local resistance's efforts, led to rapid advances through the country. Belgium's liberation played a crucial role in disrupting German supply lines and setting the stage for further Allied victories in Western Europe. One of the most iconic moments of World War II took place on September 2, 1945. The Japanese instrument of surrender was officially signed on the deck of the U.S. Missouri, anchored in Tokyo Bay. This formal act marked the official end of World War II and the cessation of hostilities between the Allies and Japan. Representatives from both the Allied nations and Japan were present, sealing the end of a conflict that had raged for six tumultuous years. September 2, 1945, also witnessed the surrender of General Tomoyuki Yamashita, commander of the Imperial Japanese Army. Yamashita, known as the Tiger of Malaya, surrendered to Filipino and American troops at Kiangan, the Fugayo in northern Philippines. His capitulation was emblematic of the larger Japanese surrender, marking the close of World War II in the Pacific Theater. In the midst of global celebrations marking the end of World War II, September 2, 1945, bore witness to another significant event. Ho Chi Minh issued his proclamation of independence, drawing heavily upon the American Declaration of Independence. Using a copy provided by the Office of Strategic Services, who declared himself President of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, he fervently sought American recognition, but President Truman ignored his overtures, setting the stage for future conflicts in Southeast Asia. Thanks for watching Battles and Beyond. Also, be sure to check the link in the description for additional information. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay connected with our daily historical explorations.